I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the red hickory. Red hickory, Kyria ovalis, is a deciduous tree of the walnut family, the Juglandaceae family. It was previously treated as a variety of pignut hickory, Kyria glabra variety odorata. Red hickory is also referred to as a sweet pignut hickory. It's a medium to large tree that grows about 24 to 36 inches in diameter and up to 60 to 100 feet in height. Trees tend to have a straight trunk with a dense rounded crown. Red hickory can live 100 to 250 years of age. Red hickory is often confused with pignut and mockernut hickory. It's used as a large shade tree in large landscapes, and it's an important wildlife tree for birds, mammals, and insects. Red hickory is somewhat uncommon, but widespread throughout eastern North America. It is found scattered throughout central Kentucky, with pockets in western and eastern Kentucky, as you can see in the map. It is usually found growing on dry, well-drained, sandy upland ridges and sloped woodlands. It's classified as intermediate to intolerant of shade, and red hickory tends to have a large, deep taproot, which makes it difficult to transplant. Red hickory is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo, that are between 8 to 12 inches long. The leaves are pinnately compound, meaning like a feather, with 5 to 9 leaflets, but most often there are just 7 leaflets. The leaflets are lance-shaped with finely serrated margins. They are green above and below. And the leaf stem is often reddish at the base, as you can see in the photo. Fall color is golden, yellow, and it's similar to other hickories. Red hickory is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are in drooping catkins that are usually to four, two to four inches long, as you can see in the photo. The catkins are often grouped in threes. The female flowers are short, usually in clusters at the end of branches. The flowers appear in mid-spring and are wind pollinated. The fruit of red hickory is an oval shaped nut. The nut is enclosed in an oval husk that splits into four sections when it matures. The fruit matures in early fall and it is dispersed by wildlife. The nuts are sweet, edible, and a favorite of wildlife. The twigs are somewhat stout, but not as stout as many of the other hickories, and they are without hairs. The leaf scars are large, three-lobed, and somewhat heart-shaped, as you can see in the photo. They are often described as a monkey face. The terminal bud is larger than the lateral or side buds, and it's singular, rounded, and light brown in color. The bark is smooth on young trees, and as the tree ages and grows, the bark develops interlacing shaggy-topped ridges. The bark looks similar to pignut or micronut hickory, but it's a little shaggier. The wood of red hickory is heavy, hard, and strong, like other hickories. It's reddish-brown in color and has a high thermal energy content when burned, so it's used as a fuel wood in wood-burning stoves. The wood is used for tool handles, ladder rungs, flooring, sporting equipment, and smoking meat. Red hickory, like other hickories, is an important wildlife tree. Trees provide nesting sites and food for a wide variety of birds, small mammals, and insects. It is the larval host for the luna moth, hickory horn devil, banded hair streak, and hickory hair streak butterflies. Among the birds to relish the nuts are blue jays, American crow, wild turkey, bobwhite quail, and red-bellied woodpeckers. Additionally, a variety of birds that eat insects are attracted to hickory because of the large number of insects the tree attracts. Mammals that rely on hickory nuts are gray, fox, and southern flying squirrel, black bear, gray fox, raccoon, chipmunk, and white-footed and woodland deer mice. 
and when the bark's shaggy enough, it can provide roosting sites for some species of bats. The national champion red hickory, as of 2021, is in Caroline County, Virginia. It's 118 inches in circumference, 140 feet tall, with an 80-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion is in Clay County in the Daniel Boone National Forest, and it's 176 inches in circumference, 170 feet tall, with a 72-foot crown spread. This discrepancy between the national champion and the Kentucky champion may be due to the date of listing of the trees since the national list was last updated in 2021. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about red hickory. While red hickory, Caria ovalis, was previously treated as a variety of pignut hickory, Caria glabra, and some botanists still maintain that it is, red hickory can be distinguished from pignut hickory by the leaves and the bark. Red hickory usually has seven leaflets, and pignut hickory usually has five leaflets. And so you can see in the photo on the top is red hickory, and the photo on the bottom is pignut hickory. The bark is also another good distinguishing characteristic. The bark of red hickory tends to be shaggier on mature trees than the bark of pignut hickory on mature trees. And in the photo, red hickory is the top, the bark is shaggier, and the photo at the bottom is pignut hickory and the bark is much tighter. The genus name Caria is from the Greek Caria, which was the name that was applied to the walnut tree. And the specific epithet ovalis is from the word ovum or ovata, which means pertaining to an egg, and most likely is in reference to the shape of the fruit. Thanks for joining me to learn about the red hickory. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or take a walk around your neighborhood and appreciate the wonderful trees of Kentucky.